Hi, everyone. Hi. I'm Jimmy. I'm Kate. And this is Feet Peace. Mm -hmm. The most massive community. The new world. And comments are on. I think comments are on. Are comments on? I don't even know. I think so. Oh, I think I did set it to just... Huh. Okay. Give me two seconds. Give me two seconds. I will be right back. Sorry. Right the first time, guys. There was 56 people in here not commenting at all. There's 56 people. I thought the comments... I thought I had the comments set to followers only. Or people I'm following. And I didn't. And then... People just weren't, there were 50 people in here and nobody's commenting. It's like, okay. Mm. Well, hola. Your face is nice and warm. So is yours. Kiss the girl, ba 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 Good morning from Australia. That's not an Australian accent, but... Hello, Bernie. I'm Jim. This is Kate. Hi. How are you? I don't need to get a life. I have my own. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to Periscope, Katie. Uh -huh. Welcome to real Periscope. You're looking good. Danko. Don't sweat it. Mm -hmm. Don't let it hurt your feelings, Kate. Nope. Any plans for Valentine's Day? Yes. We have spent a lot of time together today. And it's been wonderful. Or realistically, we spent like half hour together and then like we tried to cater to everybody else and it didn't work. Because nobody actually wants our help. And it's kind of amazing because we have like the answers and literally nobody cares. They're just like, that's okay. Your answers are yours. I'm like, okay. So I'm going to say from now on. I'm going to say, okay. Happy Valentine's okay. Day, Coyote West. Uh, do we have plans? Staying alive. Mm -hmm. That's that's a good one. Yeah. Building our relationship. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, trying to keep all the crazy people at bay. That's the good one, which is officially almost everyone, it seems. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Not for Periscope. I just remember that. Yeah. You don't want to. Trust me. Okay. The comments that will come. Don't sweat it, babe. Mm -hmm. We are definitely goofballs. Mm -hmm. Balls of goof. We're balls of goof. The internet is vicious. No, people who use the internet to hide because they have bad lives are vicious. The internet isn't alive. The devious will come from everywhere. It's so true. It's so true. It's so true. Mm -hmm. It is my constant choice to be vulnerable. 
and he stole Valentine's jealousy. No. <laughs> I don't know. Um, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. By the way, yeah, you don't you don't have to be in a relationship for it to be a good Valentine's Day, bro. Buy yourself a box of chocolates. Ain't nobody judging. Ain't anybody gonna know. But you love yourself, man or girl or non-binary or other. Look in the mirror. Eat them chocolates. Be like, thank you so much. I love you. My dog is my Valentine. That's Aww. wonderful. That's wonderful. In our country, bestiality is a crime, but you know what? To each his own. No, I'm, I'm, going, I'm playing around. I'm playing around. We love you. Just just playing around. Um, yeah, love yourself. If you don't, if you don't have an, another, just love yourself. You deserve it. You do deserve it. <laughs> you do deserve it. Love yourself. Mm -hmm. Because trust me when I say no one else will do it for you. I've tried to give everyone and their mother a chance to love me. They will only do so if you subscribe to their truth. And so you must live your own truth or someone else will have you subscribe to theirs. And that is the truth. Mm -hmm. On some level, it's not always the flip of a full switch, but think of it like the human brain is a breaker. And they'll say, I'll flip this switch for you, but you're going to switch, flip three, these three as well. Don't make those deals because you're not left being yourself. I'm never telling anyone my dog is my Valentine again. <laughs> Don't. Keep it between you and your dog. It's, it's private. It's your relationship. You love her, him, they. Tis your family. Tis your family. My sister is a crazy dancer. I don't. No comment. No co I'm like a politician on stage. I go no comment. That's a smart thing. I go no comment. Caitlyn Skinny's is liking. Well, thank you. She takes very good care of herself. Yes, no comment. I love everyone. No comment beyond that. Caitlyn's great. Says Tiller. Thank you very much. I like you. Thank you. Compliments to Kate are always much appreciated because I am done putting her on a pedestal and she is done letting me be on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. She's not letting you guys put me on a pedestal anymore in a good way or a bad way. And I ain't going to let you put her on one either. Because if we really want equality, it means that I come off my high horse and she comes down from the dirt. Because she don't deserve to be there. And no one ever told her she should be. Mm -hmm. But I started to believe you. I was wrong. Okay. That's the Valentine spirit. That's right. She deserves to be on a pedestal. Why? Being on a pedestal is very lonely. Well, it's not lonely if you're sitting on a pedestal next to somebody else. Saying that they deserve to be on a pedestal too. But guess what? People on pedestals usually get knocked over by somebody else kicking it out from under them. So, I'll sit on the ground. Thank you. And Katie happily sits with me. Because that's where healthy people sit. Then I can play with the flowers. That's right. We play the flowers. Flowers are beautiful. And then when the ocean current comes in, it can get our shorts wet. It's nice. You know? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Pedestals are for children who can't reach the table. Mm. Being on a pedestal gets boring and, yes, lonely. I said today the only kind of man I want to be is a decent one. I'm no longer interested in being a perfect stranger or, you know, being somebody's champion. I just want to be a normal guy. Mm. You guys can share that pedestal. so But then somebody else will knock it out. <laughs> I just for today he goes tiller yeah and then tomorrow someone knocks it out I'm telling you nobody trusts me nobody at all I didn't realize how bad it was because here's here is the mistake that I've made until now I have doubted my abilities and my intelligence and I was willing to question my abilities and my intelligence and make others who were below me in life on this totem pole of, you know, 
like knowing what to do with their life. And I let them tell me that I was wrong. And so now I have a whole bunch of angry people who may potentially be doing something super unfavorable, but I officially am unsubscribing from that. I'm seeing that we have to create our own solution, but I'm really not sure what to do because quite literally almost everyone is out to get us. And like now that I'm finally healthy and she's healthy and things are good and our relationship is building, mm -hmm. everyone's still just like, nope, don't buy it. Well, there's three people in this world who know for a fact that I'm healthy and that Kate's healthy. Me, Kate, and Josh. And Josh ain't here to defend us anymore. So, guess we're going to have to fend for ourselves mm -hmm. because we're out of here at the end of the month mm -hmm. and it is like 20 degrees outside and before anyone says I'm begging, beggars can't be choosers and I'd rather be a beggar than choose the wrong thing. So the next time someone says I'm a beggar, well, guess what? You're right. I'm smart enough to beg for the right thing instead of settle for the wrong thing in my life. And Katie is smart enough to beg rather than let go of our love. Because really that's why I'm begging is because on some level we would be sacrificing our relationship if we didn't keep begging. We would, we would have to separate. She would either have to go get a job or I'd have to do this. Or we'd have to, we don't, we don't want, neither one of us want to do that. And we would literally rather be homeless than be separated because someone else says that we're not allowed to spend all our time together. That's how we live. It's our life to choose. We just have to figure out how to pay the bills. That's what we're figuring out. Yeah. But we're not begging you to pay our bills. We're just letting you know that we're begging you for something. And it doesn't have to be money. But if you got advice, whatever, you know. But people are too busy trying to give us a whole dollar when all we ask for for two cents, we just want two cents. We don't want we don't want a hundred dollars or ten thousand dollars. We just want your two cents, because I ignored your two cents in the beginning, and I shouldn't have done that. And now I owe a whole lot more than two cents. So if you have two cents to give, without a judgmental, passive aggressive attitude like everyone else in my life for the most part, I would really love to hear from you. I think staying humble is wise. Thank you, Coyote. Well, people suck and you guys look great. Thank you, Taylor. People don't suck until you let them suck your life out of them. Like, suck your life. That's when they suck. But they don't suck until you let them suck. I know you're healthy, says Coyote West. Thank you. Where's Josh? He went home. What happened to Josh? He went home. Love conquers all, guys. Yes, it does. It really does. It really does. Look at how healthy I am. Kid you not, I've never been this healthy in my life. My whole life. And I'm not all the way there yet. But I'm officially on the road to healing things that people say cannot be healed. So, and I'm not... I'm not challenging any corporations. I'm not challenging anything. I would really just enjoy getting healthy and uh, being left to be healthy. And, uh, you know, if I want to do a Barack Obama impression very poorly, then I'll try. But I really do want to be left alone in a positive way. Um, you could work together, but I know that's super stressful working with your spouse. We already do work together here on social media. Yeah. We we only make a couple hundred dollars a month, but it's a good start. Um, but we're not willing to give that up. Possibly work from home as well. Katie likes to write, right? I do, however, oh. uh, writing right now for me is not a healthy decision because I'm not in a place to write anything healthy. I didn't tell her that. Nope. But I disagree with that. You do? Yes. Okay. Probably should have asked me. That's my viewpoint. Okay. What makes you think you're not in a great, good enough place to, because before, are you there uh, right now? Because if so, we need to have a conversation. Off camera. Okay. Give it, keep trying. What am I doing? Yeah. I'm literally on Periscope right now. That's true. Keep trying. That's true. Never quit. 
I got my Periscope account guy back, guys. This is the original account, by the way. Periscope team gave it back to me because I pretty much begged them. And I let them know that I am making great strides towards better health. And I really would like to make a difference on the platform. And I, they gave me one last shot. And I'm very grateful for that. So, welcome on, Patrick. How are you? I think the best writing comes from the darkest places sometimes. It's a triumph piece. Yeah? Sometimes, yeah. Um, and here's another thing that I'm starting to realize is I think that I'm relying a lot on my past to help solve problems in the present and about the future. And here's what I mean. I think I'm talking a lot to people. There's letters coming off of his thing. What is that? I don't know. I'm talking to a lot of people from my past who aren't watching my content in the present and then judging me based on their past experiences with me. And so now I'm different and better, but they don't believe me at all because I've just lost all credibility with them. And so maybe as I sit here, I could find people who see me in the present and are willing to trust me in the present. The letter means they're typing. That's interesting. Patrick says, I'm, and thank you, Alexandra. Patrick says, I'm doing well, thanks. And you we are doing much better, Patrick. Patrick, since I started an organic diet, um, I am no longer bipolar or anything like that. And I don't think I ever was bipolar. I think it was issue on issue on issue, all compounded with a very unhealthy diet, unhealthy lifestyle, and constant um, sugar and caffeine, sugar and caffeine, <laughs> overwhelming work stress with absolutely almost no income. The full gambit just is, I mean, it doesn't justify It's. I mean, I literally took everything on. I literally took like the entire world on and I didn't lose. I didn't win yet. I didn't win yet, but I'm officially done losing. Like, it's like, it's like, lose, 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 lose. Now I'm down here. But I'm slowly starting to come back up to neutral. Back to that middle zone. It's a good, it's a good, good start. Try poetry, Kate. It's cathartic. It helps get rid of those thoughts as well, putting it on paper. Do I haven't written in a very long time, though. I'd love to hear your poetry. Oh, yeah. You used to write it for me and I didn't appreciate it. Hmm. I'm sorry. Can do it again? Yeah. I'd love to get a little notes from you. <laughs> yes. Aw. Uh, love that. I did before. I just... I was cold. It was nice. Yeah, you... It just seemed like you didn't appreciate it, so I just... just stopped. You know I did. You know me now. Yeah. Let's get the healthy stuff back. Yeah. For both of us. Mm-hmm. You should write too, Jimmy. Oh, man, you don't want to see my poetry. <laughs> my poetry is good, and it's like, but it'll mess up your mind. Uh, you don't want to see my poetry. Like, it's not dark. It's just, like, brain warping kind of stuff. Gets you thinking about things you normally wouldn't. It says, hey, Jim, it makes sense that you took it all on and didn't lose or win. I get it. Yes, that's the truth, is you take it all on and you don't lose or win. That's the whole idea, is to win the game is realizing that life isn't a game to be played. At least that's what I've taken from it. Jimmy came back to play. Hi, Katana. Katana, I did see your broadcast. I did stop it on your broadcast. And I appreciate you giving a shout out about not going in and abusing people on their broadcasts. That meant a lot to me and it spoke to me. And we've already forgiven everything in the past and I hope you forgive me for my words. And I would love it if we could all move forward with with positive vibes for everyone because everybody deserves that. Yeah. Everyone deserves to have that, to feel safe and comfortable. Then you come back up and then back beyond that totally. Now I'm confused. Oh, yay, says Coyote West. If you write stuff, it helps heal and forgive, and then it becomes something bigger than all of us, says Mrs. Koala. <sighs> it can. And that scares me. Every time I get on the screen, it scares me. Because for the first time today, we watched my replay. 
of uh, the video. We, we made a video this morning on Periscope. And we watched the replay. And it freaked me out because for the first time, I was out of the delusion that the screen was real. And I saw, a I saw the echo of myself, right? I saw a, a replay. And it was a replay. And I saw it as just that, a replay. Not me, but it, it literally looked like we were acting. It, it did. It looked like we were acting. And we don't act, just that you're aware. We are really that good on the dime. Thank God. Okay? It's a gift. I'm not, I'm not oh, I'm not good. I just, gift, whatever it might be. But the fact is, we're not acting. Mm -hmm. But I do now see why so many people do think we act. Because it does look like we're acting. Dude. It does. It does? Yes, right now, it looks like we're acting. That's unfortunate. It's only unfortunate to those who consider it bad acting. Okay. Or to people who think that we're trying to do something negative with the regular actions we're taking that appear to be acting, but really it's just a public persona. It is, think of it like, well, if we go outside, this is how we would act, mm -hmm. right? Is that, I mean, we're, we're comfortable in one another's presence when no one's watching and we're very, very good at playing a role together, right? Of, of the, the, the boyfriend and the girlfriend when we go out and that's what people see because it's like in our mind, we've watched a lot of media, we've consumed a lot of content. And so it's like, it's not that we know what that looks like, but we're very good at vibing mm -hmm. And yeah, it's a little fake, but it's like, that's how we keep ourselves safe in the public is by only showing as much of ourselves as we possibly can to you guys without breaking any healthy boundaries. And that's the same thing. Just think of it like what you do when you go outside and you talk to people. It's the exact same thing. It's just a public persona, but it's not fake. It's just your personality when you're around other people. It's, it's always comes out differently. All right, knows it. Are those Josh's shirts? No. no. That's funny. Um, if you know her and she knows you, it's healthy for both of you and all of us too. It helps community. True, true. You're getting it, man. Thank you. Back again. Hi, Anne. Yes, we're back. Hey, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Mackinac. Um, Mampanasi. Do you want to start reading some comments? Because I'm getting short of breath. Okay. Well, that was a, that was a question. Sorry, I should have answered instead of just... It's not that you shouldn't have. It is that. That's regular communication. You can communicate however you please. It's just when we go out or if we're on screen, it, it appears as though... You're it's like, do this. That, well. Yeah, because here's the thing, guys. What I'm coming to realize, she really understands me that deeply. And I are, she knows that I know what she wants to do and what I want to do. And we are very much in sync. And then when we communicate that, sometimes it just, we just boom right into it. Yeah. And it's too fast for other people. And then people are like, oh my gosh, it's, you know, she's a zombie. No, she hears me talk 24-7. She always knows what to do with me. But Katie, yeah. you talk 24-7 with your silence because I'm the one that knows how to read facial expressions. Mm -hmm. And she knows it. And we have these conversations. Yeah. We have these conversations where I talk and she doesn't. And yeah. we're both heard. And we're getting to a point where she's talking more and more. It's a daily effort. And I'm talking less and less and it's a daily effort. So why don't you do what you wanted to do? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I hope you're feeling inspired to write. It's a good thing, really. Yeah, I used to write tons. And then I think I had to take time for myself before I wrote again. And I think Jim's right. Is that a couple of weeks ago, I, I tried writing again and... I was just in such a negative place that anything I wrote, it was going to be dramatizing my own situation and making my own feelings even more. I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, and you know, you just, you didn't say anything about I know, writing. But... Wait, did I say that you said those things? No, no, Can I... I be honest? Okay. Can what? I be honest? I'm yeah. scared of an, an outside situation. And so like I zoned out. Oh, okay. I got other work stress. Oh, okay. I don't have to. I wasn't focused on this work stress. I was. I, I wasn't focused on your feelings because I have work stress. No, 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 I'm no, sorry. no, no. I, I was just saying how, like you said earlier, about how I should try writing again because it's been a while. Wait, five minutes ago. Oh. Okay. Okay. I love and, you. I love you too. And so, but like that was in a point where there's just so much stress in the household that if I was going to be writing down those dramatic things that it was only going to exacerbate 
the fact that I was being overly dramatic to begin with, and it was just going to make it way worse for everyone, including myself, and it was not going to put me in healthy space. But it's been a, it's been a little bit. And look at the look on my face. I'm starting to get why people think that there's like that I'm like crazy, because the look on my face is very similar to like what's his name. Who's that rapper who will not shut up? I don't know. The, yeah, I guess that's every rapper. Uh, the one who's doing everything about Jesus right now. Uh, Kanye. Kanye West. Kanye West. Where he always looks, he's like... <laughs> he does! And I'm realizing, like, sometimes I look like that. It, it's not me trying to be a jerk, and I'm not a psychopath. It is like, I'm trying to not show emotion. Because what I'm really feeling is complete fear. You know, because I, as I talk to people, I'm very smart. And so, like, I can understand their intentions even when they don't. And there's a lot of people who say they want to help me, but they're very hurt by the past that we share, whether it was my fault or not. And they really want to take it out on me. And so did Josh when he moved in. And he learned real quick that that was not an option on the table. And so, I mean, I made one friend at the cost of everything. And now I'm like, what's the next friend going to cost me? Mm -hmm. Because I want to consort with the right people. But I'm sitting here and like, I don't know. I, I feel like I don't know any of the right people. I know people that I can be friends with on this regular level. But I don't have anybody. We don't have anybody in our lives um, on the next level who wants to help us move up to the next level unless we subscribe mm -hmm. to their religion whatever that religion might be. And so religion of any kind. And so. I, I think what it comes down to is we're still getting healthy ourselves. We're still learning healthy boundaries. But we don't, not, neither one of us feels safe here. And even if we had the ability to pay rent, like it's not good mm -hmm. because nobody is harassing our landlord. To me, that's a bad sign. Coming from my industry, this industry we're in, you can surmise what that means. If I've been receiving constant harassment for about four years and all of a sudden it stops, I'm officially on alert. Like something's going on. Because irrelevancy isn't happening. The numbers are still rolling in. The comments are still coming. The drama is still on the outside there. What am I missing? Because I'm scared. Because it's scarier that people aren't saying crap. I mean, is it possible that people are beginning to trust me again and see that I'm not a problem? And that I genuinely am healthy and trying to get better? It's possible, but that is like the 0.01% possibility. And I'm on board with that. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you say your life is, is the 0.01% possibility. So. Well, that's why I'm saying it's it's very unlikely that people believe that I could have gotten this healthy this quickly just with the change of a diet and, you know, change of atmosphere. When you see yourself that way, it takes you out of this construct and helps clear the way from... Thank you, Kate. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Question. No, keep going. Um, keep going. Reacting to real life, which is normal human behavior for all of us, and we consume and vibe. Zoom in. Regular communication is a back and forth between two terminals with acknowledgement and flux. Yes. Flux. Uh, relatable since uh, mm -hmm. Somebody said hi. Oh. Hey, Sarah Fun. Hi. Sarah Fun. How are you? Good to see you. I'm officially weighing myself in kilos. I'm 81 kilos. It's more that it's the suppression of your normal human tendencies like Kanye. Yes, I am definitely su uh, suppressing my normal human tendencies because if I were to express what I'm feeling, it would appear as though that I'm paranoid or something else. When the reason I'm suppressing that is because most of the human population right now cannot really wrap their head around just how much is on my plate, just how much I understand, and just how many people are trying to convince me that I'm wrong by hurting me and saying they're helping me. And so we are in a very dangerous scenario. And I know that because I'm smart. I'm not paranoid about that because I'm paranoid. 
I just recognize that everyone around us is very controlling for the sake of, you know, to keep their religion. They want to keep their religion. And my existence seems to be threatening that to them. And so they're willing to start a holy war over my health. And it's not something I'm interested in. Thank you, Kate, for trying to calm me down. Mm -hmm. Kate's like, you must be quiet or we will be less safe. <laughs> okay, good. When you get to that next level, you will feel safe and the boundaries will no longer exist. Yeah. And I think we're very close to getting through that through that keyhole. Feeling unsafe means there's more work to do spiritually, but like Kanye, you can persevere. Yes. Uh, and says maybe everyone loves you now. I hope so. Uh, being scared is human and you feel um, is human and one, you feel free yourself of that you can become bigger than anything i think you two look like a beautiful happy couple thank you lady Aspen. thank you how tall am i i'm like five 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 six i know why they're asking that don't sweat it okay all right i think boundaries are healthy too though yeah i don't know why they're asking that I fear, and so I assume. Oh. Okay. But I don't know. See? That's such a... Wow. Oh, wow. You're a lot taller than me. But how can I trust? I cannot trust. But I do not need to trust. I just need to shut up. Mama! Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You know your breath is calming to me now? Really? Yeah. That's good. It's very interesting. <laughs> I've never had someone's breath be calming. But it's like when you breathe and I breathe in your breath, it's like, mm. I'm good, bro. I'm okay. Everything is okay. Mm. And it really is. Hi, Karen. Hi. I think her name is, wait, that might be Sharon. Mm -hmm. Click bottom left. Karen, how are you? Karen Smith. Yes, I'm following her. Karen Smith, you may be a moderator. I don't believe you're a moderator yet, but would you like to be a moderator? When the breath becomes calming, Beth becomes calming. She's the one. She's the one to the one plus one. She's the one to the one plus one. You okay, baby? Yeah. All right. Okay. You both look calm and happy. Yes. You are a reflection. You're reflections of one another, and the one plus one becomes one, and then we all do. Yeah, bruh. We vibing. We're vibing. We're vibing. I love you guys. We love, love you, you Lady Aspen. Thank you. That makes me happy. But I feel so alone because Texas doesn't want us. California doesn't want us. Pennsylvania doesn't want us. Georgia doesn't want us. Florida doesn't want us. Iowa doesn't want us. Nobody wants us. Do you want us? Nobody wants us. I'm glad if you do. And goes, not, not true. true. I need proof. There's still many more states, says the lady asked me. I want to live in Colorado. Anybody got an open bedroom? We have rent. Not really. But we can figure it out. I'm sure any state would be happy to have you, says Anne. Thank you. Yes, they would be happy to have me and never let us go. <laughs> Ohio takes anybody, says Karen. Oh. Uh -huh. Ohio is one state that I've always passed through and I've never, never stayed in. Is Ohio nice? I'm asking you. I do love you. Maybe Florida? That is a beautiful place to be. It's a lot of storms, though. Are you guys moving? Can I answer that sarcastically, like satirically? We're currently sitting. 
Um, we're going to have to, we're probably going to be on the street, but we're going to figure it out. So nice to see you both happy and smiling. Thank you, Seraphin. Because even if we have the ability to pay rent this month, we're going to say no. Because like my instincts say, get out. I'm smart. Like I don't, Kate, has, have my instincts ever been wrong? Like when it comes down to my instinct, not fear, but I mean, sometimes instinct is based on fear. It's, it's, it's like, I would question it more if it hadn't been him saying for a long time around this time, this year, he's kept saying over the past year that something is going to happen. He feels there's something that's going to come that he doesn't quite know what it is. I'm not a prophet or anything. Yeah. I'm just an animal because we are human animals. Okay. This is very rational. It is not some biblical crazy thing. We don't have to bring it up to anything special, but as a human, we do have the same instincts that other animals do. When they run from a storm, it's just, we don't embrace them because we're too busy being conscious and I'm very in tune with my subconscious. And so for me, I had to do that. So I get people out of my freaking head. And so I get all this junk out of there and don't ask me how I did it because I couldn't tell you, but I'm healthy. I'm happy. And I know that crap is about to hit the fan if we don't get out uh, for me in my life. So we're going to figure out what that should look like. No, not really. Ohio is boring, says Karen. Mm. Well, don't come to Pennsylvania. It's a beautiful state. But we have enough people. No, I'm just kidding. Um, oh, no. Says it. Why are you feeling this, Jimmy? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Every time I knew it was time to go, I didn't really know why. I didn't know. But every time it has somehow benefited me. Like, you guys don't see all the benefits that I've gotten from every time I've decided to jump when life for God or the universe or my instinct said junk. But the reason I've brought it down to the fact that I know it's just my instincts is because I've jumped every time. Every time it's a jump, I jump. And now that I've jumped enough times, I know it's not God. I know it's not the universe. I know it's not somebody else. I know it's not just fear. It's my instincts and my intelligence combined mixed with God over above me, the entire universe together, all of it combined. Because I believe on some level it all goes together. And I'm not a very divisive person, which is part of why I'm so in tune with my personality. Because I like to collaborate with myself. Because no one else will collaborate with me. So, thank you, Katie, for collaborating with my, you know, me. I love you. I love you, too. Something bad? Something unproductive. Something that'll pull us further into the past. I don't think it's bad. I just think it's something that will decrease um, our ability to make a difference in this world. Whatever that looks like. I don't know. You're always two steps ahead of things because you listen to the universe. I do. It's not prophecy, but it's natural instinct, which is a modern form of prophetic foresight. You know, but here's the challenge I'm facing. A nice warm bed where we really could find a way to pay bills or get help. Like there's a million different options here. Or face the February cold. And it's like something in me just knows to face the February cold. I'm telling you, it, it is that heavy. I just don't know how to explain that. I don't. And I'm going to have to have this one because she won't let go. And she knows I'll never give up on her. So she's going to be facing it with me. Mm-hmm. And y'all got to realize that is her choice because this girl has every opportunity to go to college, go get a job. But this girl is on board for the long haul because she is smart. She sees my intelligence. And And I love you. And she's willing to humble me every time I need to be humbled. I love you too. Thank you for reminding me how unwell I just loved you. I didn't mean to put those things before what matters most. It's just, it's always been what I've known. I love you. Of course, we're animals, and that means we don't have precognition as an ability. Yeah, it's, it's not precognition. If there are things culminating in our environment, such as a storm, it could be a social storm of some sort. And there are certain variables that are available to me that help me to piece that together. It's not precognition. Because most of the people around me behave in a way that is extremely predictable. I'm only, I am only 80% predictable. And so that's why I'm two steps ahead. 
And that's why it's not precognition and it's not prediction or presumption or assumption or paranoia. It is piecing together other people's present based on my past experience with them. I'm not predicting my present. I'm predicting the present, my, what my present will look like, what my future will look like if I continue to live in this present. That's what I'm predicting. But it's not a prediction. It's, it's very viable because for the most part, the people around me live the same life every day. They do the same things every day. It's very predictable. And so for me to presume that the exact same thing is going to happen next, it's more of an obvious thing because I see that most of the people around me who I would like to trust have a lot of pressure on them. And from my past experience, what people love to do is when they're under a lot of pressure to put it on me. And I'm not willing to let that happen anymore. They're going to have to face their own problems and stop blaming it on me. And I'm going to have to find a way for us to start handling our life and building our life together. And that may just have to start out on the street. We're really hoping not, but I'm realizing there is no shortcut to this. If we want our, uh, if we want to maintain our freedoms, then we are going to have to brave it. What's that, Katie? I said dumpster diving. And it says you really are. You're aware of everything around you. And I love you too. Crap can only hit the fan if you believe there is a fan. That's the difference. There is a fan if enough people work together to create a fan. Okay? There may not be a fan for me, but there's a fan. And it is a mature and humble thing to do to admit when someone's fan has been big enough to to knock you off your feet. And there is definitely a fan big enough going on that I can see that's big enough to knock me off my feet. And I'm smart enough not to stick around for it because the people that say they love me, they're afraid. They do love me, but me not being consumed by fear is the exact reason why I have the capability to take a walk when I have to. But I don't even have to stay, I don't even have to stand up to take a walk in my brain. And while they say that they're more capable than me, look at how much I'm taking on. I know I'm capable because practice, perseverance, patience creates an intelligent mind. And I have endured all of this and all of you for a very long time. And now hopefully my reward is that we can have the most positive community in the world, which we planned on starting from the beginning. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Someone's gonna hurt you. No, not like someone's gonna hurt me. People are gonna try to help me the wrong way. Experience is better to trust as Justin as opposed to false instinct. Yes, and it's not false instinct, it is experience mixed with instinct because a decision we make based on experience is usually called instinct. Because but an animal doesn't think about it, they just they feel it. We think about it and call it experience, it's still instinct. We're just conscious about the, uh, cognizant of the instinct. Go ahead. Mm. It's the same, we're talking about the same thing. Hello. I admire you for being able to do that. I'm too scared of change. I am too. Mm. But not, not scared enough to let someone else make decisions in my life anymore. in fear upon ourselves to change the dynamic and it kind of fears well, sometimes it's true though Katie and that's exactly why the fan appeared and now it is there and the only way that it goes away is continuing to focus on the positive mm -hmm. but sometimes we have to admit when the storm is there mm -hmm. and I made a storm and I'm not trying to be irresponsible by stepping out of it. I'm just like, oh, crap. And I'd like this to be my last. Oh, crap. That I never have an oh, crap ever again. Hi, Alden. I think y'all should uh, keep doing feed piece. Feed piece is working. Why stop? 
I mean, something, PPs. Yeah, because so we're going to stop. What are you talking about, Jimmy Soroka? That's a Jimmy Soroka photo, though. I don't think you noticed that, did you? Go ahead, scroll back up. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's me. You guys like are so cute to me. Thank you. It's all good. Absolutely, if it makes him happy. Have you ever read Jane Eyre, either of you? I did. It was a really good book. Really, really good book. Uh, well, Think Peace is... Uh, Belongs to everyone. How many times have I said that? How many times did I say? Remember in the beginning, for any of you? What did I say in the beginning? Sell the merch. Make your own t-shirts. I did say that. So good for him. Good for him. He's spreading the word of Think Peace. That's not a bad thing. I literally officially have someone making merch for me. And even if his name is on it, Think Peace is on it too. And when they look up Think Peace, you're going to find me. So I don't really feel like the fool here. I officially have my own free merch department. And even if I don't get the money, I was never after the money to begin with. But some people are, so let them have the money. I'll get all the publicity, no sweat. All right, you're up. Okay. Uh, why can't you go to college and still date too? I don't really want to go to college. That's what that comes down to. That's not. That one's not about me. Um, I could obviously handle not being around. We could handle not being around each other while she's at classes, but she doesn't really have a desire to go to classes because she's learning a lot more being here. Yeah. And I'm learning a lot more with her being here because we, it's an iron sharpens iron situation and we are learning the mm -hmm. fastest by being with each other yes. and having the internet at hand and you to help. PAP presumption, assumption, paranoia. Let the pap hit the fan and you will be free. Katie. Yeah. I actually know exactly what he, I'm following you. Who is this? Cause it looks like a photo of my father with a, with a fro. <laughs> Welcome on dad. Hi. I call him dad. I like him. It's true though. Let it hit the fan. Meaning, let all the people, because that's what's happening, Katie. Okay, here's what's happening, is all the people that I want to help yeah. do want my help, but they're very, very suspicious. But uh, suspicion is so unhealthy. And because it's unfounded, we're going to have to keep working towards helping them understand who I am. Of course. And that's going to take years. But it can't happen living here, because it's not fair to our landlord. It's not fair to anybody. We have to find somewhere that we can live that we're not going to be stalked. That we're not going to be harassed, mm -hmm. that, you know, that we can live a regular life like we have the freedoms to do. Mm -hmm. And it's on us to figure that out if we're going to take on this responsibility. Mm -hmm. okay. When I pet my dogs. Uh, mm -hmm. No, no, no. Stu Shepard is funny. Oh, okay. Stu Shepard is he's fine. Never been a problem. Um, can we see Jimmy's like when you pet him? <laughs> Looking Dapper definitely. in the suit. Thank you. Springs Hashtag attached BPs. BPs. Thank you, Springs. Can I send dominoes for Valentine's? No, death in a box. You may, and then we'll like try to resell it, maybe. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't know what to do with it. We can't eat it. Here's the here's the fun. I'm going to explain something, guys, okay? Because I'm on this side, so it's going to be really hard. It's going to be really, 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 really hard, more than likely, to believe it. I'm not saying that you're stupid. I'm saying that unless it happened to me, there is a 0% chance I would have ever believed anyone. Period. My issues at hand, and formerly, had a lot to do with the consumption of fear and cortisol into my brain. Mix that with all of the hormones and different things that were in the food we were eating. Quite literally created an illness. With the eradication of that and the eradication of the drama, I'm getting healthier day by day. Right? But here's the mind blowing part. It's like, as that stress goes down, there's going to come a day where I can eat Domino's again. <laughs> uh huh. Maybe three, four years from now, I can have a victory Domino's and it's not going to make me a psychotic freak. So, that's good. Ooh. All right. You okay, baby? Yeah. Do you need a shift? 
shift. Here we go. It's just my back. We can shift. This is not. Do you want to go sit on the couch? Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you, okay? I I, I like, asked the question. I like sitting do here. Do you want to go sit on the couch? Is the word mm-hmm. that came. Thank mm-hmm. you. I love you. Are you not a fan of storms in general, or is it more specific? I don't like shit storms. <laughs> you know, they smell bad, they leave poop everywhere, and then everyone looks at me and says, Jim, clean it up. <laughs> you know, we 17 of us just stuck our butts out of a plane, and we, we crapped on somebody's house, and now you have to clean it up. I'm like, nah, bro. And then the homeowner looks at me and says, you brought them here. I'm like, I'm in control of them. And yet you say that I'm not powerful. Neither is true. Tis not powerful, nor tis in control. Just really freaking confused. Ha, darling, says Super Chi Chi. Saw, dude. Not, dude. Are you still looking for a new leader for VPs? <laughs> like if it was really stormy out, would that instill fear? If it was an actual regular storm, I would go out in it and dance around in the rain because I love natural storms. But it feels wrong to dance around in a human storm. It feels wrong because that sounds insane to like enjoy someone. Be Yeah, it's not who I am. That's the trouble here. It's like I'm living in a world where most people dance when other people hurt and like they have fun with it. Like they're pretty, they're pretty sick and depraved. That truly ain't me. I am. Well, it's sick and depraved to laugh at other people's downfalls. I'm not attacking anybody specifically. I'm thinking about the media as as, not as a whole, but I'm thinking about certain parts of the media where there's just so much focus on negativity. Well, I apologize for going negative at all. So thank you. I love you. Mm -hmm. But that is not me. And so this is where the crux begins. How do I live in this industry without being a psychotic person? I don't know how to do that. I know how to not be psychotic. We got that part down. (laughs) But how do I be in this industry and survive? That's what I'm learning how to figure out. I have to be very weary and very cautious and very intelligent because you either have to be clever or smart in this industry. And clever is something that doesn't sit well with my heart and gives me a lot of problems in my heart. So honesty is a need and a necessity and I'll have to figure out what to do from there. All right, good. Spring says, I want to be a candidate. <laughs> uh, college aim for everyone, darling. I didn't go to college <laughs> and I turned out fine. Great. Good stuff. Uh, storms are so, so scary. It's stormy here big time. Where, where are you at? We're in Pennsylvania. I like storms in the Midwest, but it's so quiet out there. Does that mean you'd be considering a job in healthcare someday, Kate? Probably not. I tr- I dabbled in it. I'd never wanted to, and then I dabbled in it a little bit, and I just don't think it's for me. Katie is in the healthcare of love. Yeah. Welcome on, Claire Means. Oh, I mean, not Claire Ha <laughs> ha. That's another broadcaster, and I saw her broadcast before I clicked on my own. <laughs> plug, accidental plug. Someone's that famous. Good for her. Um, uh, Miss Betfair. Welcome on, Miss Betfair. Is it still where you are? No. Does it seem overcast? Like maybe a storm is rolling in. Yes. Thank you for letting me know that I don't have anything to be afraid of, and that if I keep perceiving a storm, I'm going to get a storm. But if I keep alleviating people's fears and having conversations with them in real life and reminding them that I'm not the picture that other people have painted of me and keep real life relationships with them over time, it'll help them kind of understand that I am not a bad person. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'm realizing that that March 30th deadline is something created by a, uh, a fearful deposition, which has been mostly the, you know, epicenter of my content until now. And so I realized that March 30th viewpoint can officially disappear disappear, and the clouds can roll away 
and there is no storm and we simply can find a way to pay our bills um, without Katie having to go get a job or go to college or me doing the same. We can figure it out right here with you and we don't have to go anywhere. We don't have to fight, but you need to understand guys that is it, is, it may appear that I am bipolar and I am jumping back and forth over and over. I am not. It is that I have been disafraid for this long and my instincts of fear have led me to, to a trigger reaction repeatedly in uh, to a position where it appears as though I may be bipolar. And I'm, I'm simply just an animal trying to jump out of traffic. And I've jumped, had to jump out of traffic so many times that I'm like, oh, traffic's coming, but I'm not in the middle of the road anymore. I'm not on the side of the road anymore. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm in a house. <sighs> I love you. I used to be homeless. Are you still looking for a new leader of Phoebe's? Yes or no? Well, to lead Phoebe's would mean to lead my life. And I'm the only one that can successfully lead my life. I can't seek one if I wanted to. Not a better one. I always want to live in Hawaii, darling. Hawaii would be cool. Make sure you have an umbrella that's big enough for both of you. Storms are predictable. <laughs> We're working on that. When you preach, it's akin to storming to storming the beach at Normandy. Only it's our souls. I remember learning about that, but I don't remember exactly how the outcome came. Honestly, you're stronger than most. I would have stormed out of there so long ago. Yeah. Darling, I ate nothing but hot pockets for a year and thought you was losing my mind i was losing my mind did you lose my mind yeah i'm trying to find it i gave it to you i must have misplaced it okay. <laughs> <laughs> i'm not i'm not trust me that the healthy being healthy like i do not miss the other food i don't not not nearly as much that, like for me, if I had no perception of any of that other food, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. If she didn't have the depth perception, meaning she's eaten very healthy food. She's also eaten very unhealthy food. Now she has a depth perception on the scale of food and how it affects the body and the brain. Mm -hmm. Until you try it, you're not going to believe it because everything in the average human environment is telling you to just go get your groceries and shut up. So that's how it is. Oh, Happy nice. Valentine's Day, says Irish Life. Thank Happy you very Valentine's much. Day. We do not have a sole mattress. We don't. Um, uh, so you're going to sit on the couch and watch the rainstorm. If we have one, absolutely. I love the rain. She said, what industry? Hmm? Exactly. Because humans are not an industry. So thank you for correcting me, Katana. It's so much fun rolling in a tub of cherry jello. Oh, me. Oh, my. Ah! I think we should do that off camera. That'd be interesting. We could wrestle. Oh, come on. I know you're tougher than you say. I once knew a kid who he, I forget if it, if he wanted to, like, I think it was green. I think it was green or it was purple, but there was some sort of superhero or something that he literally went into a bathtub of Kool-Aid and like dyed himself all another color and he came into school. It was actually really cool. We were in middle school. Um, we're in Lancaster. Come meet us at Wasabi, Wasabi Sushi. Sushi. We'll pay. <laughs> we'll walk there. Hi, Miss Betfair. Welcome Hello. on. Mike Tenner. Oh, we are. Oh, no, we're only 14 behind. Okay, we're not popular anymore. Yay! Friends. There's no storm in PA. Well, we were talking about a metaphorical storm, and some people probably came in and didn't realize we were talking about a metaphorical storm. Um, 
I'm Mike. Says, how are you? We are good. How are you, Mike? This is Springs. I'm in Colorado, and it's so stormy. Mm. Mm. I just like, I'm in Aspen, sunny but snow tomorrow. Sweet. Mm. Who is your favorite member of the X Men? Minus Storm. Storm. Who's your favorite? Um. <laughs> Probably rogue. I always really liked rogue. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Cool. I like the big guy, the really, really big, heavy guy. Mm, juggernaut. Yes, Juggernaut is so cool. He's just like a big rock, and he breaks through everything. It's neat. Yeah. I like Wise Owls. Says Miss Betfair. Uh, it is good you have a strong woman by your side. I'm really glad I have a strong man by my side. I love you so much. I love you too. Thank you, baby. And that is how she stands up for me. Because I need to be acknowledged just as much as she does. Yeah. And you do need to be acknowledged. I am lucky that I have such a great woman mm -hmm. by my side. Mm -hmm. I guess we ended up kissing. I was going for the nose, but <laughs> you always get what you want. Because <laughs> she can always get what she wants. <laughs> Y'all probably, she probably don't know what that song is. She's too young. I know. She genuinely doesn't know what that song is. Okay. I'm going to go chop my. Keep going. Okay. He's trolling. That's fine. No, no, no. I'm curious. A chair is just a chair, even when no one is sitting there. Mary had a little lamb. His feet was white as snow. Okay. Stormy is the Lorax. I don't know. They're, ta they're talking about another broadcaster. That's why uh, they keep talking about storms. Uh, okay. It's their way of trying to troll us. Oh. Don't, don't sweat it. If you're not too far away, come spend the weekend. I have a guest house already. Thank you, Irish. Yeah, okay, it's free content. And people are not broadcast talking about it. I'm about it. Everywhere Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. I raise I lambs and goats for market. How can I ship you some? I hope you're not kidding. Cool. Five twelve Northampton Street, brother. <laughs> lamb it up. I love lamb. Any meat is welcome. Any any organic food, absolutely welcome. You tell me your business, I will put it on the internet if you ask me to. Trust me, I am very good at putting other people's business on the internet. I know people who are way better at it, but I started to do it. I'm going to start doing it in a way that's well when it happens in a good way and never in a bad way anymore. Um, storms roll in, storms roll out. I love storms. Humpty Dumpty sets on a wall. Cow jumped over the moon one day. Bro, are you good? Like level of high one or 40,000 million unicorn. <laughs> I'm just home from Valentine's dinner. It was very good. Glad. I hope you enjoyed your Valentine's dinner. Miss Betfair. Storms bring strife. Mm, and sometimes they bring life. Yeah. Amazing. You need to save up for a stormy day. This is getting fun. Um, Cold stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I love you, baby. Baby, <laughs> you are beautiful. You are loved. You're the perfect weight for you. Yeah. so attractive in every way. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. And I love you too. Happy feet over here. Love it. I just put... Storms bring strife, but also life. And for you, Jimmy, maybe a wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I love you too. Actually, I have to go pee. I'll be right back. I would imagine. I'll be. I'll, I'll, you can get my phone. 
check. I'll check it. I'll check it. Guys, give me two seconds. I'm sweating. Google, why do you always wake up? I didn't. I didn't say your name. Oh boy, why am I dizzy? Because I talk a lot. Uh, ain't has a lot of calories right now. Okay, who's texting me? Nobody. That's new. I dig it though. Okay. What's going on, peeps? Daniel from Biloxi, Mississippi. Welcome on. How are you, Daniel? I did follow you back. Uh, Asterix, I did follow you back. Uh, to those of you who I have followed back, if you are willing to volunteer as a moderator, you are someone who over the years has never given me crap and has consistently been here in the broadcast, and I'm very interested in having you as a moderator. It doesn't mean you have to block people, but um, you know whatever that might mean to you being a moderator, um, I would like to give you some precedence in the broadcast and see what you do with it. Hi, Jim. Hi, Kate. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, speed of yesterday. Katie, calm down. Realize that people use those metaphors and they know what it means, but it may not mean the same thing to them that it means to us. Oh, no. I, I was looking at the Daniel's comment, so then I thought you said the wrong name, and so I was like, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't look at his comment. Oh, well, good. Oh, yes, by the way, this is our original uh, Periscope account. We were reactivated. I sent in a request to Periscope, and I was very polite and very respectful. And I said, look, I'm going to do my best to stay positive, stay focused, and I will get better, better day over day. I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what our future looks like. But the hammer doesn't come down if I just move out from under it. And it doesn't mean I have to move physically anymore. I finally see that I'm smart enough that I don't need to get up and move. But I do need to figure out continue to figure out how to stay here without I don't know like we may not have to move at all it's possible that there's no storm coming at all that we really have worked this hard to to be in a good place and maybe people are starting to see that you know we're making changes for the better and they're not going to bother us anymore but I don't know for sure and I'm very scared I'm very scared I am because yeah, I don't want to find out the hard way and then have it affect our lives like indefinitely because we are finally doing the right thing and that would be pretty crappy that wasn't a text that was um, a thing for twitter um you know if after all of this work somebody just said okay thank you for doing everything for us now you get nothing and we're going to take away the rest of what you have because that is pretty much the story of my father but i don't know that for sure Definitely scared of it. What do we have here? Um, yes, he did, says Dan. That's great news. Congratulations, says Miss Betfair. Thank you. I'm going to have you read something. Okay. okay, if it's something about your body, will you find it funny? Or are you like, no, no, seriously, are you insecure about your body? No. You know how much I love you. That helped a lot. Yeah. All right, you ready for a joke? Yeah. All right, check this out. Do you, to, do you know what an APB is? I'm like something it's lost? Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I'll tell you, I found them. They're not lost, don't worry. They're just being held captive <laughs> by a bra. You'd be surprised, my friends. Looks, clothing is very deceiving. Are you? I love you very much. I hope I didn't expose you in an appropriate way. I love you very much, and I was just gloating and standing up for you at the same time. <laughs> Uh, okay, where are we at? Are you two old enough to remember Stormin Norman from the Gulf War? You had the same spirit. Stormin Norman. I don't know who that is. I'm more than willing to hear, though. I'm, I'm on every social platform. Messages are always open. <laughs> Thank you, Christine Fraser. Messages are always open. I apologize for saying your name on live stream. I'm learning I'm not supposed to do that anymore. Guys, to me, you're real in real life. So when I say your name, I'm just feeling like I'm sitting in a powwow and then I say your name and I, I'm really not trying to hurt anybody. It's like, it's so real to me. And sometimes I forget it's a screen. So I apologize. That's great. Congrats. Thank you. Speed of sound. I'm calling you speed of sound. 
to me, Sam. What is happening right now? I don't know. Thanks for remembering. I'm asterisk. Of course. Intentions don't matter. The outcome does. How about both do? Or we don't get a good outcome. If the intentions aren't in place and the out and the and the process aren't in place, the outcome will never come out well. It's not possible to create a good result with negative intentions. Now, is that a text? Still not a text. I'm officially unpopular. That is nice. It's a DM instead of a text. Instead of a harassment text, it's a, it's a now it might be somebody saying they're blocked or something. So let me take a look. Uh, there's, a, there's like 1,200 people blocked. Thank you for the super hearts. Thank you very much. There are about 1,200 people blocked on here. And I will work on blocking, unblocking everybody. I'll work on that. It's just going to take some time, as you can imagine. Um, and we definitely have some more pressing matters right now. And I do not mean that in disrespect to anybody not watching. But if you're watching, we have a home for about two weeks. And realistically, I mean, we could stay here. Guys, I'm going to be honest with you. It feels to me like everyone is trying to help us feel safe enough to stay here in Pennsylvania. And considering, for the most part, everyone that's been involved has not had the greatest of intentions and said that they did, I don't trust what I see. And I don't think I'm paranoid. But it's like, no matter how much I try to calm myself down, there's still that one piece of me that just says, Jimmy, run. Now. And I keep ignoring it for love. Saying that with love, there is no longer a need to run. Maybe love isn't the answer and love is the trick itself. Maybe love is the trap. I'm going to find out. Kate's like, what? I'm telling you, either love is the trap or love is the answer. And I'm going to stick around to find out. You okay? <laughs> I'm on my hand. <laughs> I love you too. My 12-year-old, 19-year-old. Uh, what's up, David? Uh, nice to see you too. Thanks for being here. You two guys have lots of love to give. Thank you, Miss Beth Fair. Yes, we do. Thank you, Miss Not Best, Miss Beth Fair, because I know Miss Beth Fair wouldn't say that. But thank you very much, Miss Not Beth Fair. We love you. We love you as well. You know who? She's adorable. They're both adorable. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, I was talking about you and her. Yeah, he ain't adorable. He's ugly like me. <laughs> I just have busted you. You guys are awesome. Uh, so are you. Thank you, Buzz. Guys, I'm really scared to stay here. That's the honest truth. It, you, you have to look at it from my angle. I was diagnosed with a mental illness. I have a really rough looking history, rough looking history. I've made a lot of rough choices, but also a lot of rough things have happened to me and every single person involved up to this point who has wronged me in some way is willing to be in complete delusion to the fact that they could be wrong and are all willing to gather to say that I'm the wrong one. And I'm realizing they're either going to make me their victim, their champion, or both. And I, I don't want to be anybody's champion. I mean, maybe I do. Maybe that's what I've been asking for this whole time. Now that I'm finally going to get what I want, I'm complaining. But I'm scared of success. And that's what I'm finally seeing, is I'm scared of success. Because I think if we stay here and we're able to do this healthily and find a way to pay our bills, that's the ultimate victory. If we figure this out without extra help, then, I mean, you guys are helping no matter what, obviously. We're very grateful for that. Even if you're just here, we're, you're helping. But, you go, babe? Yeah. Okay. No, no, don't be sorry. It's okay. I feel like that would be the ultimate victory if we could figure it out right here. <sighs> you look at me. Are you scared? Or are you only scared because I'm scared? I'm kind of like scared because you're scared. So you're not scared? I don't know if we're going to figure it out. Or... Do, do you feel safe? Right here? Mm hmm. And if not, why? I feel mostly safe. 
but like you said, there's... No, no, no. Okay, well, like I said, take out what I said, the fear that I put with my words based on my past experiences. Your truth, is there anything that you're afraid of without the intercession of my fears that come from my past experiences? And because my past experiences are based on former me when I was unhealthy. Do you have anything that you're afraid of now? Mm. Because quite obviously my past never had to catch up with me because it's always been right here with me. I mean, I have a certain level of quote unquote financial fear. But, um, and then I have a certain level of you know, fear of people that might come around or not come around. And stalk us. Yeah. And send us text messages of them beating off. Yeah. Because it happens. Mm -hmm. And obviously that doesn't help her psyche and that's not my fault. Yeah. But what I'm trying to teach her is when someone sends something like that, be compassionate. Mm -hmm. Realize that when someone does that, they are genuinely that lonely. Yeah. Do not be angry at them. Do not freak out on them. Just let it go. And I mean, if you're a praying person, pray for them. I look, I look at it. I say, you know what? This person is that lonely. Let it go. Move on. Mm -hmm. Because that's the only thing that we could do that creates peace. Mm -hmm. And the more that we sow peace, the less people will try to sow lives, lies in our life. Because I'm realizing people only attack when they suspect a lack of love. I've always had the love, but my ill-seated communication did not create peace. It created war. And then when I called it peace and it was creating war, people called me a fraud. And that wasn't true. I simply was a poor communicator and I wasn't at peace with myself. And so the only thing that was fraudulent was me saying that I was at peace. You know, which saying I'm feet peace obviously is a piece of piece of the puzzle. So go with your heart. We're all crazy in some way, says. Uh, do you believe you actually have mental illness? Do I believe that? No. Not anymore. Like, mental illness can come and go. It's a rare occurrence, but it does happen. People do get stress-induced psychosis. It's a very real thing. And it doesn't always stick around. It's not that hard to believe. Just maybe a couple Google searches of factual information instead of fearful articles and watching uh, the show You on Netflix or whatever that show is called. You know, look to science for your answers about health instead of a Netflix show. Because they're a little different. Hi, Jim. Who's your office boyfriend? Hello. <laughs> I'm afraid he put that booger under the seat. What booger? Did I have a booger? I don't know. Did I pick a booger? I might have. I do wipe my boogers places. Ask her. I'll admit it. Mm hmm I do. I'm like a little kid. I do have to get better with that. It's extremely embarrassing. But why do I call myself out? Because I do want to be a better man. And I like it when people make fun of me because it's a very good motivator to get me to do something better. If I tell you I pick my nose and rub it places, you're going to make a video about that. And then I'm going to be embarrassed, which is the only way I learn because I'm so stupid. I can't just stop doing something. So people got to make me. And you know what? That's not a bad way to live when you're surrounded by people that genuinely want to see you do better or stop doing bad. I'm using society as my personal law enforcement of my life. And I'm realizing that I was doing that all along on accident. And now that I'm finally making healthy choices, I think it's finally finished because now I'm making healthy choices. And they don't want to make, they, they have no desire to make me pay for my past because they don't want to pay for theirs either. They want me to pay in the present. And when I don't have anything else, when I, when I finally realize that I don't have to pay for anything presently, the drama is officially ceased. The, the drama is ceased because there's no more drama in my life. Or at least less and less, right? Mm -hmm. So there's no drama to talk about. And people could make up drama, but what will now be polarizing instead of my personality will be when people come on screen and see me, and then they go and see the other content. And so, well, he's bipolar. The best people are going to come and sit in this broadcast and spend a lot of time in my show giving me viewership and making me friends, coming to find out that I'm healthy because the people that really care will spend enough time in my broadcast and be like, okay, is he healthy? It's going to take me time. Okay, where's the reaction? Where's his reaction? Where's his reaction? 
And when it doesn't come, they'll be like, okay, that's BS. I don't know what it is. Maybe he just he had a little freak out like normal people do. Uh, now, with my stuff in the past, not normal. Here on in, pretty average. I'm afraid he put that book on the seat. I already read that one. That happens to everyone. I know Angel lives. Angel lives. Sometimes you don't know where to put the booger because you don't have a tissue. They could do that no matter your location, though. Yeah, they could. They could. But we are in the epicenter of a lot of people who I grew up with. And I'm finding that, you know, a lot of the people in my area read the Bible. And in the Bible, it says that a prophet is never welcome in his own town. And there are crazy people who think I'm a crazy person and they are treating me like I think I'm something I'm not. And I don't think I'm anything special. I just grew up on the Bible and so I understand it. Or I understand the precepts as much as I can. And sometimes I use it to relate things because that's how I think. But I'm learning to use it less and less as I move further and further away from my religion. So don't think I'm being conspiratorial or you know, cult-like, it is, I grew up religious, so I'm letting go of my religious past. Someone did that? The boogers? Yes, I, I do it every day. I'm only inside sometimes. There's a lot of love in this room tonight. Must be Valentine's Day. That's right. That's right. I love you, baby. Good to see you doing better. Sadie Rose, thank you. We appreciate that. And we also appreciate the uh, super hearts. How was your Valentine's Day? going. Katie looks, Katie, do you feel thin or ill? No. No? And it's a very inappropriate thing to do to attack a 19-year-old girl with something you know isn't true with the actual goal of trying to make her feel ill and thin. You are intentionally trying to attack her well-being. And that is maybe the most vicious comment I have ever seen in any broadcast to this day. I know people have attacked me, but I've never seen someone come at a 19 year old girl with the intent of destroying her confidence. I mean, it's one thing to destroy the confidence of a man. This is the 21st century. All of us guys are being crapped on right now because we've been crappy for the past couple thousand years. But women have only tried to do good things. So what are you doing? Um, no one can define you as a person. I can. I define me as a person. I'm a good person. This is a nice scope. Thank you, Seraphim. Much appreciated. You booger bandit. <laughs> Shame on you. Feed her my... Ew. I'm not feeding her my boogers. She wants me to feed you my boogers. Do I eat my mm -hmm. boogers? No. Why not? They're salty. Oh, you cheers. Remember what I did earlier? Do you want to tell them what I did earlier? Guys, I don't even know how this happened. This is the most interesting thing that I've ever experienced before. I didn't experience it. Katie did. It was the most interesting I've done. It was unique. Yeah. You ready? All right. We're not going to do it again. Okay. Well, tell, you want to tell them? Okay. It was really weird. Like, he put his mouth over my nose, and he, like, blew. And it was so weird because... I could feel the air going, like, my nose, like, down in my throat. It was so weird. It was weird today. It was, it was just, like, the weirdest feeling. I've never felt that. I guess no one's ever tried to do that, so. I put my I put my mouth over her nose, and I blew. And it was weird. I didn't mean to, but it happened, and we don't know how it happened. Yeah. You smelt it. You dealt it. <laughs> I wonder if you could make crackers of the burgers. We had enough burgers and you need crackers. I could throw up. Please never again. <laughs> Why? What a time for me eating your burgers. <sighs> I'll take a cooking challenge. <laughs> I don't want to throw up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Well, guys, it's been a good night. What do you want to do? Do you want to live here? Do you want to move? We can get rent paid if we have to. I know how to do that. 
What do you want to do? Food is where our problem is right now. Yeah. What do you want to do? Um, I say we turn the tides. I say we officially send the storm in the other direction where it belongs. Okay. I like that idea. And we don't laugh or cry while someone else is in the middle of a storm that simply found its way to our life. Because it's not our storm, it's not our fault if someone else suffers it. We're just smart enough not to let it be in our life. Yeah. What do you think? I like the idea of us living a steady, simple life. Me too. We can grow and flourish. As we are. Yeah. And then... Is it here, though? Because I don't like it here. It's like I've gotten comfortable here. But I don't like it here. And I know yeah. you don't like it here either. Yeah. Guys, where should we live? Because if we want to, we could find our way to another apartment. We could find another home. We could find a way to pay rent. Where do you want to go, Katie? Mm. As, as big men attack little girls. Mm. 90 pound women. Mm, go. Where do you want to go? Because I'm here for you. Guys, we're going to take a hiatus while Kate and I talk. Okay, so it's just me and you. I can't let anyone attack, literally attack a woman. Literally attack my girlfriend. Because they can't get to me. They're willing to attack you. Mm -hmm. Now, do you see why I protect you as much as I do? Yes. Because there's crazy scumbags out there willing to attack you. Literally. Yeah. Just because they're jealous of the love that we share. So why don't we give them a kiss? I love you. Uh, Kill him with kindness. Uh, Suffocate them with strength. <sighs> Win them with woes. Uh, Worry them with wisdom. And party while they ponder. Welcome to Feet Peace, the most positive community in the world. What? We can't see comments right now, but we do see ourselves, and we are both very happy. And when the adults are ready to have a conversation, we'll turn the comments back on. I don't want to go where I want to live. Um, and we love those of you who are ready to have a conversation. But obviously right now there's too many kids chewing bubble gum in the room. So if you want to stand up for us, we're grateful. If you want to own the room, you know, we'd love to talk to you. But everybody's just putting hands back saying, well, it ain't on me. No, it's not. But it ain't on me anymore either. No. I'll take my space while I get healthier. I'm not putting on you, but I'll take my space while I get healthier. Thank you, baby. Uh -huh. I love you. Uh, I like the idea of living somewhere where it's warmer. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. You can't take my sunshine away. Mm -hmm. I love you. Mm -hmm. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, if we reek of B.O., we are the most beautiful couple on planet Feet Peace. You want to go and get the deodorant? Oh, we have that now. Yeah. Sweet. I put some on earlier, but it must wore off. <laughs> Yeah, we have we have organic deodorant. It took like 14 weeks to show up to the house, but it works. It's girl stuff, but it works. Woo! We do shower and stuff, but we haven't really had deodorant for a while because it's really hard to find healthy deodorant. But now that we have it, thank God. Um, if you didn't know, there's a lot of hormones and crap. I don't even know. Why don't you tell them about the girl stuff with the with the with the that stuff? Because I don't know. Oh. Um. This is your arena. 
Okay, well, um... Can you wash all these then? Later? Not tonight. Yeah. But another day. Yeah. Um, there's a, just certain things in deodorant that um, cleaners you know, contribute to breast cancer or and some, sometimes, depending on the way that they fragrance it, it can have um, things that boost your estrogen and when you have too much estrogen, um, obviously that can cause imbalances in your hormones and how you feel and this and that, whatever. So, um, just, it's not always the best. So. What's that, man? I just said it's so it's not always the best. <laughs> yeah. So. And we have uh, horsehair brushes that it is amazing that things never smell. They don't have to be replaced. They are incredible. See, we don't own very much, but we made sure that anything we do have is it's not about being premium. It's about being sustainably ethical and also useful long term. Like, we have a blanket that's supposed to last, like, 200 years. Oh, really? Yes. It's Egyptian cotton. I mean, I and the Egyptian way that it's cotton, stitched. I didn't know it was so well, that's why it was ex as expensive as it was. Oh. But we have one, and it will last us a very long time. And so long as we wash it every now and again, yeah. it'll last us a very long time, and we're not buying a blanket every couple of months or using the same blanket for, like, 14 years, which is really gross. So... Because the amount of germs and ugh. having a healthy amount of germs is good, but too many germs, no good. Yeah. And when you wash, when you wash a low quality blanket, there's, well, then I'm going to geek out about blankets. They don't need us geeking out this whole time. They don't care about that. That's our education that they don't want to hear about. They just want to hear about our lives. Um, let me get a shirt. Do I have any clean shirts currently? I did not. Do I smell? Do I really? What? No, I don't. Yeah. Are you sure it's not you? I bet it's you. You didn't. You didn't wash your armpits, right? Well, I don't smell bad. You mean I smell like the horse hair? No, that's that smells like you. Ugh. Thank you. Uh -huh. I tried. I shall try again. Shoot. Here is a shirt. It's still, this one still smells too. Mm. I think when I put the deodorant on, it actually makes it harder to get the deal out. Uh, is that if, a thing? If, sometimes if it traps it, yes. Hmm. So what's the point of wearing it? Um, maybe if we go out, yeah, I'm not going to wear it unless we go out, okay. but I mean like out, out with people. I'm just going to wash myself a couple times a day. Like I do. Mm -hmm. Um, thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Where was this? You washed it. Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? A little. Yeah. You look angry. Well, want to talk about it? No. You mentioned the blanket. Oh, girl, girl. Well, why is your wife being passive aggressive? Uh, what are you pissy about right now? Don't lie to me, because they're not gonna, you're not gonna pull them. Yeah, I I think because like that comment, and then like it made me feel like. Is that what I said? No, 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 on there because there was a comment, and it's like because I'm hungry right now, but because of that comment, it makes me feel like that if I go get food right now, it's because of that comment, but it's actually because I'm hungry. That's what they did to me, Kate. They make you feel bad for having human instinct. And they know exactly what they're doing. Trust me. They know exactly what they're doing. And trust me as well when I say their day will come. Mm -hmm. They will rot and die on their own. It's not your problem. Hello, girl. Well, I don't realize what they did wrong. Mm. No. 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 When people take it, trust me when I say I've met monsters. Okay. When people take it that far, they're already dead. There's nothing you could do about it. What you can do is love yourself enough to stay away from them. And if they ever have a redemption story on that 1% chance, you help make that happen. 
but you do not look in their direction for a second because all they're trying to do is get your attention so they can beat off while you look. So you focus on the positive, you focus on the good people, and the only attention you give them is letting them know how disacknowledged they are in your real life. Okay? Because you can't get them off the screen. It's impossible. You have to realize when you are the very good person, you're also going to attract the most evil things on the planet that call themselves humans. But you have to also realize, yes, they are humans. Mm -hmm. But when someone is genuinely begging you to not treat them like a human, I've learned that you do not treat people. I don't treat people how they want to be treated. I don't. Or, I mean, I don't, I don't treat people the way I want to be treated. I treat people how they ask to be treated, but through my language. Mm -hmm. So what that means to me is that I love people and I do my best to focus on the positive. And I give them as much positive as I can. And when they cross a the line, they disappear from my life. That's the best that I can do because human life is very valuable including my own. Yeah. And when someone is intentionally attacking my mind, they are not allowed to exist in my world. Katie, think of it this way. You and me are here. Who said that? Do you know who said that to you? No. They don't exist. Their words don't exist. It was a word. It was words. Don't be insecure. You're not insecure. They're insecure. Mm -hmm. They're either insecure about their weight they're insecure about their thoughts, their actions, their feelings, their hu like there's something. Get food. What do you want? Do you want eggs? Do you want chicken? Do you want a vegetable? Do you want? Whatever you'd like to make, baby. Okay. Eggs sounds good to me. A little protein. Mm -hmm. And if you want to throw some other stuff in there, I'd be grateful too. Okay. Thank you. I love you, and thank you for silencing me from hurting more people. I'm just trying to protect you. Mm -hmm. I love you very much. And when they finally see they can't hurt me anymore, what did, I, what did I tell you they would do? What did I tell you would happen the moment they saw that I was impermeable to their words? They come at me. They would start attacking a 19-year-old girl and justifying their position by saying that they want you on screen and not me. Because they're trying to attack my pride. Pride that's not there. I'm getting defensive. Just stop talking about it. Thank me. I'm getting defensive not because of my pride. I'm getting defensive because I know why they're doing it. That's why it pisses me off. <sighs> can't hurt my pride. I got too much of it. But what you can hurt is my feelings. But only if I let you. So no more hurting my feelings. I make that final. <sighs> okay, comments back on. Here we go. Where are we at? I'm an alien some days, says Miss Betfair. Speedy says, Jim, that was a sweet pep talk. Well said. Thank you very much, Speedy. Uh, David says, are you using organic toothpaste? I hear some brands have bad additives too. Katie, are you using organic toothpaste? Thank you, baby. I don't use toothpaste at all. I do brush very, very thoroughly, but I do not use toothpaste. Um, Katie says she doesn't know if it's organic, but she, it doesn't contain fluoride. Okay. Good night, Seraphin. Thank you very much for being in here. Thank you for your patience and thank you for continuing to love us through the pain. Welcome to Fifi's and sleep well, my dear. Let's go on and hang out with Katie. Are you, do you want, do you want a little space? You want a little time to get over that? You take, baby, take some time to get over that. <sighs> Guys, words can hurt bad enough to literally destroy someone. It, they did it to me. It did happen. I'm not crazy. Smart, no fluoride. Fluoride blocks your third eye. I have, I'm trying to poke my, I don't, it don't hurt. Is it, is it back here? Whoop! That ain't a third eye. Stuff comes out of that. You don't put, I don't put stuff in. I wish I was funny. It's like, I'd like to be funny. So bad. I would love 
to be funny enough or smart enough or talented enough that I don't have to be my real self on screen. Unfortunately, I'm just smart and I'm not talented. But I'm quirky enough to be entertaining. And I love you guys. So I guess that all comes together. My therapist is checking in. How are you doing? I'm good. Great day. I'm having a great day. It is. It's Valentine's Day. It's beautiful. Katie, yeah. do you want me to make the eggs since it's Valentine's Day? No, no. Baby, you want me to shut down? We can enjoy the night? No. Why not? Mommy, I, I want to. Okay. I want to make love to you, watch a movie, and cuddle. Because we deserve to be some Tetris. I want our Tetris tonight. I love Tetris too. We love Tetris. Do you like Tetris? You don't like Tetris as much as we do. Trust me. All right, baby. I love you very much. And I'll be right there. Guys, I love you very much. I love all of you very much. Welcome to Feed Peace, the most positive community in the world. And thank you so much for the continual support and the effort towards positivity and understanding that a healthier mind and a healthier body can lead to a healthier life. And whatever you're going through right now, change your diet, change your exercise routine, whatever it might be. You don't have to jump to the gym because I barely do any exercise. We just go out daily and I eat very healthy and it has literally transformed me to an ability where I can actually block out drama, like with it being in here for the most part. So it's not my answer but it's a good start. Feet peace out. Thank you, bus.